Hundreds of thousands of students and teachers marched across Brazil on Wednesday in a national education strike against cuts to federal university funding. Today is historic. People are organizing for education across the country. We're here to stop the privatization of education and workers' rights. The protests were some of the largest yet against the government of far-right President Jair Bolsonaro. They came two weeks after Bolsonaro's new education minister announced a 30% budget cut at federal universities and high schools. In Rio de Janeiro, the march stretched on for blocks. In Sao Paulo, hundreds of thousands occupied Paulista Avenue. They are cutting federal university funds. We need to make noise. We need to show people the importance of science and education. As people have said, they have money for guns, but not for education. People will fight for education. At the Federal University of Santa Catarina, students began to march early across campus. Today is really important because it's the beginning of the process of mobilization against the cuts and the freezing of federal funds. Cecilia and others say the cuts will slash funding for research and grants and put some programs on the chopping block. This is going to impact the lives of thousands of students and not everyone will be able to continue to study. President Jair Bolsonaro and Finance Minister Paulo Guedes have been pushing the privatization of state infrastructure and industry. Guedes' own sister Elizabeth is the vice president of the National Association of Private Universities. Teachers and students fear these cuts could be a first step toward an attempt at privatizing public education in Brazil. The university has never been under such a threat. Right now, there is a serious risk that all of this investment could be eliminated in a short period of time. The people here, though, are rising to the challenge. The issue of education is unifying many important sectors of Brazilian society. It's not just the universities where this is happening right now. It is involving public and private schools, and it is reviving the student movement in high schools and at universities. Students are planning to mobilize en masse again in mid-June, together with unions across the country, for a national strike against the pension reform, which is now under debate in Congress.